My students were able to create a short film uh, based on the Japanese internment. They actually got to do interviews with experts and they went out to the actual memorial site. Nothing is, is really left there but a cemetery anymore. And they took the drone out there and got some new footage. And so they produced like a 15 minute documentary. They used some new footage, got some new interviews and did a really, really good job. The way that it impacted our community is we're not in a very diverse school. We're not in a very, we're in a, a very rural school in a, in a small town region. They were able to allow our community to access ideas maybe that they hadn't thought about before. A lot of the people that I even work with didn't know anything about the Japanese internment and those who did know knew very little, certainly not that it was two and a half hours down our road. They also saw the importance of understanding the way that our actions can affect our community. And so when they go there and they do this and they produce this film, they were able to introduce an idea to a group of people that maybe hadn't been exposed to that idea. Not just the history of it, the Japanese internment, but the idea that, that when people are afraid, we do things that we're not very proud of in our society, like lock the Japanese up um, in the internment camps. And so just giving exposure to that idea is very powerful and it's also applicable to contemporary society. Like when we get afraid of an idea or a group of people or diversity, Sometimes that means that we do things that don't make sense. Um, and my kids were able to expose a community that doesn't hear that message very often, and I'm very proud of them.